Hello and welcome to the App Code blog on YouTube. It's kind of exciting around here because last night I downloaded Xcode 4 and installed it on my machine and so now I'm learning all about it. So you have to bear with me today um, because I haven't totally found my way around things yet. This is the first tutorial I've been I will do using it. Um, so again, have a little patience with me. But today today's tutorial we are going to look at building a view-based application and adding a UI picker to it. So really this is mostly about doing a UI picker view. Okay, so we're going to select a view-based application. I'm going to name it Picker View Tutorial. And off we go. The first thing I'm going to do is open up my nib file. And this kind of threw me for a loop when I first opened up Xcode 4. Interface Builder now is incorporated with Xcode. So it's all right here in the same window, which is kind of helpful. Okay, now you can't see what I'm doing he up here, but I'm under the Xcode menu at top, I'm going under View, Utilities, Object Library. And that pulled up my object library here, and I'm going to get a picker view and add it to my view there and go ahead and save it. Now I'm going to go to the header file for the view controller and this is where it's kind of handy having interface builder um, right there for us because it's seamless to go back and forth. I got a UI picker view, I'm going to name it picker view and then we're going to set its properties. Now we, we do want this to be an IB outlet because we're going to be linking it up with our user interface. Copy that. Okay, now we also want to synthesize this in our implementation file. So let's take care of that. Okay, now let's go back to our nib file and link those things up. So again, I'm going under the view menu and then utilities and then connections inspector. And now I'm selecting the files owner. And I'm going to link our IB outlet to the picker in the view. And now I'm going to select the picker and link the data source and the delegate to our files owner. Go ahead and save that. And we're back in Xcode here. Now, in order to use a UI picker view, you need to implement. Uh, four methods that it uses, just like when using a UI table view. It's got its special methods and so does the picker view. So I have those here and I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste them in here. Save us a little time. Um, you'll see the number of components in picker view. I've selected one. Um, I'm just logging which uh, row and component we select. And then the number of rows and component I put it at one and for now I'm just going to print out row title as the title of the row. So let's go ahead and save that and run it and see what we have here. We have our picker view and the row title which is what I set it to be. Okay that was easy enough. Now let's change a few things. Let's make the number of components in our view two and let's populate those with two arrays. So let's go to our header file and declare two arrays. I'm going to do mutable arrays here and I'm just going to do array one. Terrible name but since it's just for our little tutorial here I'm going to let it go and then array two. Now we don't have to set properties for those or synthesize them. We can just go back into our implementation file and populate them. So I'm going to find my view did load method, which is in a different spot than it was in Xcode 3. So I had to find that. Whoops. I went too far there. I just want to undo the comment. Okay, now we're going to do array 1 equals ns mutable, whoops, ns mutable array alloc. And I'm going to do a very simple init here. And then we'll just populate our array with array one, add object, and we'll just do the number one. Very simple. Put 
that's good enough for our tutorial. I forgot my square bracket there. I'm going to copy that, paste it twice, so we will have an array of three objects here in array number one. Now array number two, we're going to do a different number of objects. Let's do colors in here. So we'll do blue, green, yellow, red, orange, and purple. All right, now let's use those arrays to set the number of rows in our component and to populate the title for each one. So we're going to have to use if statements here. And first we're going to start in number of rows and component. And we're going to do if component equals zero. That's what it starts with. That would be the farthest uh, component or column to the left. And if it's zero, we're going to return array one. Count. Just like that. And then let's go ahead and do an else. And in here, we'll set it to, whoops, copy, we'll set it to array two count. Okay, so that's going to set the number of rows in each component equal to the count of our arrays. Now let's set the title for each row. And we're also going to use an if else block here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that. And then we'll do array one um, object at index row. Very easy. Copy and paste this. And let's build and run and see what we have here. There we go. Row component one, row one, component one, row two, row three, and then in component two we have uh, six elements and six values in there. There's only three here. Okay, that was pretty easy. That's all we're going to do for today. I uh, hope you found that useful. I'm going to go ahead and stop here, and then the next time we'll expand on this and keep working with the UI Picker View. Until then, please come visit me at theappcodeblog.com where you'll find uh, over 50 tutorials now and lots of great information. Until then, have a great day.